people think when they think of the elderly, of this weak, you know, unable to help themselves kind of population. We've done too much work in Barbados to ensure that people live longer. To ensure that not only do people live longer, but that they live well and that they're healthy. To then determine, having done all that work, that persons at 65, 67 should be locked up and locked away when they now have productive capacity, right? So we want to make sure that they can use that productive capacity. I came from the blue economy, but there is an economy called the silver economy that we're not utilizing in Barbados. Persons who at a certain age have a contribution to make. If we were to try to value, for example, what the work that is done in the non-productive sector, in terms of what old people do, in terms of older people do, managing children for persons who are at work, mm -hmm. you know, looking after the children or looking out for the neighborhood. I mean, these are simple things that they do. In China, for example, there are schools just dedicated, over 10,000 universities just dedicated to older people so that they could learn new things and teach as well. We have to find a way to engage older persons and to utilize their skills. You don't live that long and don't acquire skills, regardless of whether you've gotten it in a university or not. How do we utilize those skills? How do we make sure that the silver economy makes sense in Barbados? And so one of the things that I hope to do, as you will see very soon, is to pull persons who are past 65, 67, to be able to do productive work and to be able to benefit from that. It's something that I hope to explore and examine.